Oh man. What What is going on? Apparently I got banned and I'm crying and something about only supporting cheaters and I'm a cheater. There there's a lot <laughs> being said right now. Um wow. And and the sad part is a lot of you believed it? Interesting. I even had someone share my build video today and said, how are you doing build videos if you're banned? In which I replied, who who got banned? What, what are you talking about? I think a lot of this is over the controversy surrounding the most recent Descent exploit bans. Now, the entire drama, I guess you could call it, uh, surrounds the differences between people that are actually exploiting the game and people that get caught in the crossfires and who are bystanders that get hit with collateral damage during these bans. And I think that that point just didn't get across um, quite as clear as uh, I was hoping. Now, we all know that every single one of my videos are all non-scripted. Just, I just shoot from the hip. I just hit record, and then I just start talking. Um, so maybe I didn't explain it um, to the best of my abilities. So what I'm going to do in today's video is I'm going to talk about these bands and all the other bands that have been happening in the past and why they are good, but they are also bad. There is a gray area in between and I think a lot of people are just overlooking that, and they're just like, if you cheated, go to hell. And it's like, dude, no one cheated here. We're talking about the other, like <laughs> like the other guys, you know what I mean? But anyways, let's go ahead and jump into it. I hope you uh, enjoy and brought your popcorn. I'm even going to have a few of my buddies to join along so that uh, I can use them as examples, and uh, we can talk about this whole shade level kerfuffle and uh, what I agree with and what I don't agree with because uh, apparently I'm banned and crying and all this other shit that's going on. <laughs> and it's, it's comedic. But let me just, uh, I'll clearly explain my point and then we'll move on from the subject, all right? Let the haters hate and uh, yeah, watch, watch everything else pile up. All right, guys, uh, I hope you enjoy. Uh, did I do the spiel? I don't think I did the spiel, did I? So sit back, relax, grab that popcorn. Don't forget to hit that like. Subscribe if you haven't already. And enjoy this drama-filled episode. Here we go. Roll that footage. Okay. We can all hear. God damn it. And then Munch turns on his damn sink. This guy. This guy. Hey, you're good, dude. You're good. You're good, man. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. But you can hear me, though? Yeah. Okay, all right, cool. So here's the deal, right, with these bands. All right? Now, looking at these two examples right here, we have Munch, who's shade level 13,000, right? And we have Wicked right here, shade level 1,700, right? Now, if we look and expect the only thing that it really changes is their health. Wicked's at 332. Munch is at 388. Now this is just a small comparison, right? Because people with this recent XP farm were able to get 100,000 XP apparently, or whatever, 100,000 million levels, whatever the fuck. All right, so here's the argument, gentlemen. Mm -hmm. Were any were anybody banned for doing floor ten? Anybody? Nope. There was nobody banned for doing floor ten, right? Now before floor ten we had floor one hundred. Now the floor one hundred farm was where we had our dummy account, we'd go up to floor one hundred over and over. You guys remember this? Yeah, I remember. Now no yeah. one got banned for that either, right? Now well. when that farm came out I'm pretty sure I did a video with a guy that had 50,000 shade levels doing that farm. Floor 100. 50,000 shade levels. And that was like over two and a half years ago. 
you know, that was right as title update 12 and everyone was saying that, you know, they're giving up, they're moving on. And then we, we started getting, doing these farms. Um, no one got banned. No one got rolled back. No one got anything, period. But yet those people got to keep all those shade levels. See what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. No, no one got messed up. When that happened, the PvP community was crying. They were like, look, these guys are max level. They're already this. All of their gear's maxed. Like, what, what, like, th- this is a problem. No one listened. Nobody listened. So then what happens? This continues. Then we get floor 10. People do floor 10. I, I, I know hundreds and thousands of people that have done floor 10, that floor 10 farm. I, I know couples that met each other that ended up getting engaged and they, they would just spend like their time just floor 10 getting to know each other and it was a long distance relationship and now they moved in together shit's crazy all because of this video game they didn't get banned nobody got banned in fact that was when the whole uproar people were yelling at each other because floor 10 got stealth nerfed and a lot of people just enjoyed doing it it was just a fun loot cave no one got banned but yet people were able to get 100,000 shade levels off of that farm and got to keep their shade levels. Okay, fair enough. That didn't break the game. There was nothing glitching in Summit while people were doing those farms. There was nothing happening to other game modes while people were doing those farms. Nothing, nothing at all. No harm, no foul, right? It's a loot cave. We're in a looter shooter, period, right? Yep. So, then we move on to the Anderson farm, right? So, the Anderson farm, that one, you could do without glitching any doors. I see you, Wicked. You son of a bitch. <laughs> so, uh, you have the Anderson farm, and you're able to do the entire Anderson mission and just camp that door and farm XP, whatever. It's an XP farm. But people were glitching the doors and glitching the countdown and then just sitting there for hours and hours and hours and hours. And then that ended up messing up the game. The game mode was crashing. Everything was getting messed up. And then they started banning people. Hey, you're banned. Get out of here. Why are you doing this shit? Right? Rightfully so. They messed up the game. Those are what I call true exploiters right Mm -hmm. it's not the people that are doing it just you know hey man i'm bored what do you want to do hey man you want to go do floor 10 for a little bit all right yeah let's go do it and they just do it for a little bit i'm talking about the people that did that for 20 hours a day six days a week for six months and all of a sudden they're already a hundred thousand xp or a hundred thousand shade levels that's a true exploiter they exploited the system to get a gain they weren't just, you know, it, it's a difference here. And people aren't understanding that there's a difference here. Now, the Anderson farm messed up the game and actually messed up the game. It was glitching the game. So, of course, take it off. Get rid of the cheaters. Like, get out of here. You're, you're messing up our game. Rightfully so. They fixed it. Good. Good on them. No one, no one actually gave a shit about that. The only thing they cared about was that then they took out the exotic that was guaranteed at the end of Anderson, and then people were really pissed off. So then we move on to Camp White Oak, right? Fei Lao. Because remember, whenever we were all talking about the Anderson farm, we were all saying that anything with a time limit can be glitched, and this isn't the only thing, and this is going to be a slippery slope, and sure as shit, Camp White Oak happened, and then Fei Lao. So then people were doing that. They weren't doing it with the timer, they were actually glitching the doors and glitching the mission to sit there and farm for hours and hours and hours. And that messed up the game. It, it bogged down the game. It, it messed shit up. Rightfully so. Get them out. Get rid of the cheaters. These are different things compared to Floor 10, Floor 100. Well, now, then we have Descent. 
Descent is a crazy, crazy one. But it's the same logic, okay? If Munch is at loop 20 and Munch is in a party with me and Wicked and Wicked is just sitting here at the base and I'm in the dark zone, whatever, and Munch accidentally hits send invite to party and then Wicked joins Munch. All of a sudden, Wicked is at loop 23 with Munch and is like, what the fuck? And then Wicked freaks out, leaves the game, and then all of a sudden, Wicked gets 50 levels in a minute. And all of a sudden, that 50 levels in a minute triggers their algorithm. Oop, Wicked, you cheated. Get out of here. Bye. Right? Did Wicked, yeah. did Rick, Wicked actually exploit the system? Or was that maybe an accident? You know how many times I've heard this shit in my comments? Hey man, I was just joining a buddy. We were just trying to hang out and now I, I got banned. I didn't do 100,000 levels. I didn't do 50,000 levels. I, I maybe got 40 levels and now I'm banned. And it's like, yeah, fuck it's man, like, I'm sorry. A lot but of pe innocent bystanders. Then. People aren't understanding that part. They're not understanding that there are people in between. It's not just either you cheated or you didn't cheat. There's a gray area, and they're not understanding there's a gray area. It, they're just thinking, oh, these people got 100,000 shade levels. You know, they're all, they're, they should all be banned for life. Th those are true exploiters. What I just explained is a what-if scenario where you triggered their exploit algorithm, and then boom, you're out. And you didn't even mean to. Mm -hmm. Now, there's several people in my comments that have that exact same story. Hey, man, I had some buddies were in a party and they said, you want to see something cool? They sent me an invite. I was like, oh, crap. And then I left. And then all of a sudden, my season level was complete. Everything was complete. I got all of these levels and I didn't even mean to. And now I'm banned. Now I'm getting rolled back. And it's like, yeah, you triggered their system. You triggered their thing. Technically, you're cheating. See ya. But they're not understanding how that hurts the community. <clears throat> now, there's true exploiters, right? So there's this image going around on uh, the internet where there's a shade level 1 million and a shade level 900,000 uh, agent out there. And they're still not banned and they're still doing their thing but they have like 2 million health or some crap, right? So here's what I was saying that got so much controversy. Why not just cap it and either ban those that are above it or just hit them with like a suspension or whatever? Like say right now, Munch. Munch is a great example. Munch plays every day. I'm sorry, Munch, I don't mean to be spilling your tea, bro. But Munch plays, Munch plays all the time. If I come over here to the leaderboard, look, Munch is number one. If I go to last week, look, Munch is number one. And guess what? He's going to be number one next week and the week after. And it's because Munch plays all the time. His 13,000 shade level is legit, right? So this is probably an average you know, shade level for a daily player. What, he's 13,000, has been playing all the time. So 13,000 to maybe even 20,000 if you're like insane hardcore and you play until your eyes bleed every day. Maybe 20,000. So why not cap the shade levels at 80,000, 100,000? Why not cap it? And if you're above that, you just get reverted back and just cap that shit. And then same with health. If you don't want people with a million health, cap that shit at 800,000 or some crap. That way, these true exploiters don't have a one-up. They can't get a one-up. They're doing these true exploits because they want to hit a million shade level. You know, they want 15 million health. They want blah, blah, blah. You know, it's, it's a bragging thing. That's a big difference. And those people should all be, you know, see ya. 
I mean, looking at our leaderboards, how many leaderboards are plagued with cheaters? But nothing happens. But yet they put in these algorithms to trigger something and you could be truly exploiting or it could be an accident. But that's never talked about. It's either, oh, you have to be a cheater. You have to, it, there's no gray area. And it's like, well, what if uh, Wicked was doing, I, I, don't, I don't know, the Anderson farm and I joined Wicked and then all of a sudden me and Wicked got suspended for two weeks for the Anderson farm and then Wicked gets invited to Descent and then now Wicked's permanently banned. You see what I mean? And it's like, it's like it's that easy and you weren't even a true exploiter is what I'm terming, uh, I'm keying this term, a true exploiter. Because there's a lot of people that like to explore. What about the open world glitch that's at Coney Island? Technically, you could be permanently banned for doing that. But how many people have actually just went out there just to see and they're just like, oh, that looks cool. And then they just go right back to what they're doing. Like, they don't give a shit. <laughs> I mean, some people will go out there and take some screenshots, but it's not truly, ex like, they're not truly, like, with malice trying to hurt the game, right? And I think those are the people that I'm defending where a lot of people are just like, oh, you're just defending those people with a million shade levels. And it's like, dude, those people don't even deserve to be in the game. I'm talking about the normal nine to five couple that likes to, you know, mess around in the game. And then all of a sudden Steve's like, hey, Sarah, you want to see something cool? Okay, Steve. And then he like sends her into this glitch. And then all of a sudden she's banned. And she's like, what the fuck, Steve? And he's like, I'm sorry, Sarah. I just wanted to show you something nice. Like, what about those people? Like, they didn't truly exploit shit. They were just fucking around. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm off on, on the wrong ledge here. But I, I think there's a difference. I think you should cap the shade levels. I think you should cap the health. And then if people are truly exploiting this crap, just ban them. Get them out of here. But a majority of the community is not going to truly exploit anything. They might be curious. And they might look. You know? They, they might touch it with a stick. <laughs> you know what I mean? Is it going to move? But then that's it. I mean, I, I don't know. I think it's a difference. I, I don't know. But thank you guys for being my uh, my little mannequins here to uh, be an example. I, I knew that there was a big uh, shade level difference, and I wanted to try to make that. Um, because the, the biggest thing here is if you don't cap the shade levels and you don't cap the health, all of the people that did those exploits back in the day are still in the game today. They're still doing the same shit. I mean, I could blow them up right now, but I, I'm not going to, you know, I, I won't do that right now. But no. they're running around with a million health. They're running around doing whatever. I mean, there's videos of people shooting through walls just like yesterday. No one gives a shit. I, I don't know. I, I think that the way that they're banning people is uh, not the right way to go. And I think that if they could truly find those, you know, that 1% of people that are truly trying to exploit the game, get them out of here and then just cap the level and health. That way all the old exploiters can't take advantage of it anymore. I think that would fix the game. But apparently that means I'm crying and I'm defending all of those uh, people that are a million shade level. I don't know. But I appreciate you guys for uh, listening to me. Um, but yeah, man. Tap the program director. <laughs> What's up? Tap the program director. Right. There you go. Um, I, I don't know, man. Yeah. I don't but know. It's, it's true. Anyways. I mean, there's a lot of innocent bystanders. Yeah, you know, they, they just want to check something out, and then they end up being banned. Dude, if I got banned from this game for life, or if, even if they reverted me and took all my shit, I'm not going to play the game again. I'm not going to redo everything I already done. Right. I'm just, right. you know, I'll fucking go back to my other game and fuck it. Yeah, I see what you're saying now. Because I used to, before, before they announced, when they announced it, 
I was on the side of yeah. banning the people because I thought they would do it deliberately. Well, you did deliberately, but you just explained it to me that uh, well, that you just invite somebody into the game and not knowing what's going to happen, and they got a million Shaytech levels, and yeah. you know, by accident, totally by accident. Yeah, it. and it was that easy. I, think it, I mean, I yeah, showed I an example. Good. Whenever I was, uh, and we didn't get banned, by the way, <laughs> I showed an example in my video where I'm just at the very beginning of Descent. I didn't even start it yet, but I was able to invite people on Xbox yeah, I remember and they that, were just yeah. able to just join. And it was like, dude, nothing is saving people. Like all of a sudden you just get an invite and you're banned. And it's like, dude, I wasn't even trying to do that. Yeah. <laughs> Blame that on the guy that <laughs> Right. But then they're not gonna care, right? You're just death by yeah. association. It it just there's a lot of gray areas and a lot of bystanders people aren't thinking about and they're just automatically looking at billboards and thumbnails and they're like, Oh, you must think this way and it's like, bro, there is such a big gray area here. Like we all want the big exploiters to get out the game. But yeah. don't don't sit there and punish the entire community. You know? Because anybody that ever, you know, did that, it's going to end up triggering the algorithm. Like, you can't just mm -hmm. join an instance and then leave and gain, you know, 60 yeah, yeah. shade levels without triggering something. And then they're like, oh, crap, this guy's a cheater. Get him out of here. You know, and it's like, yeah, they fuck. Something. So I, that was me trying to explain it. So because a lot of these people, they... They, they just look at it from the book cover and they don't read the book where they're like, Kami's upset about the bands. And it's like, no, you guys don't understand. I'm upset because the bands are universal to everybody. It's not specific to the exploiters. And that's where everyone gets up in arms because it's like you're punishing even those that, you know, that, that the people on accident, you know, what, you know, shit like that. I don't know. Now, now I'm just going in circles, but. Anyways, um, I think I've uh, I think I've explained that one. Uh, I can't wait to see more uh, crying thumbnails. That shit was funny. Anyways, I appreciate right. it, gentlemen. Let's do some uh, okay. let's do some speed runs. Let's go.